Hello, so I am doing my video blog today on the Nestor Hoff reading for stand-up comedians, um, which is page 155 to 2, um, sorry, to 215, no, uh, to 205, to 201. Um, so the um, basis of this um, reading a lot has to do with the transition in the 50s, um, from anecdotal comedy to personal narrative comedy, meaning that um, a lot of comedians would tell stories but not talk as if it was about them, but somebody else, and like name names, but then it turned into stories, personal narratives that was comedian, which we see now today with people like John Mulaney, um, uh, Hannibal Burris, and etc. So a lot of this had to do with, um, first it talked about like old comedians ways and how a lot of the jokes were repetitive, um, like uh, your mama jokes basically. Um, that there was, here's what this is, your mama's so old or stupid or something that she does this or does that. Um, and he talks about, Nesterhoff talks about how um, some comedians were very impersonal and would like just read joke books. Um, um, for example, um, on page 156, journalist Bill Treadwell complained about joke recycling um, in 1950 and blamed Joe Miller, who wrote um, joke books. And also, not only were people uh, like just using joke books, they were also stealing other people's jokes. Um, that they would just see somebody on the television or hear somebody on the radio and just write down their jokes and redo them. Um, and the change kind of came with people like Lenny Bruce. Um, uh, Nestor Hoff talks a lot about Lenny Bruce in his uh, in this chapter, and people also like Mort Saul and um, Nichols and May and Jonathan Winters and. Um, I just wanted to say that it was really weird because I watched The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel before having any knowledge about the fact that, yes, I knew that Lenny Bruce was a real person, but also that like people like Nichols and May were real people. And just the how apropos and um, his, like how in the moment the show was and how I appreciate it even more. Um, and also just the fact that like literally um, in like the first or second episode of The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, a case of um, Joel um, having stole Bob Hope's act about the president, Abraham Lincoln, um, that gag. And so um, basically this is something that I think kind of is the thesis. Um, is on page 157 where they say comedy conformity was attacked in the mid 1950s as coffee house comedians um, Lenny Bruce, Mort Saul, and Jonathan Winters instigated a paradigm shift and revolutionized stand up for a new generation. So that was really what the change of stand up came from. I also um, found it interesting. Um, that they really were saying on page 159, the comedy came from honesty and original thought rather than situational humor um, that only some people could understand through stories um, that really just seemed to not make sense. Um, he talks a lot again about Lenny Bruce and his how he struggled with drugs as well. Um, and just talking about his situation. And then he goes on to people like that were beatniks as well, um, like Enrico Banducci and Big Daddy Nord. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's a lot of history in this. Another interesting thing that they talk about is um, uh, pol poli political impersonators um, and how that kind of changed also in um, during JFK's assass assassination. So um, a lot of this is really interesting. Um, something that I have a question about is whether or not um, Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, because it seems like this happened before her time, how does she fit into this picture? 
uh, with that show. And also another question I had was um, about the thing about Barbara Streisand, where they shared the bill. Um, I kind of wanted to know more about um, just the fact of the um, King's Club in Dallas, the Ash Grove in Los Angeles, the Blue Angel in New York, and all of the situations where people found themselves um, kind of going from vaudeville to now stand-up comedy. So yeah, that's my video blog.